In this video, I'm going to show you all the new features that are coming to Procreate 5. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And now for the first time, I can show you the private beta of Procreate 5. I'm in the test team and I have been uh, in the test team of Procreate for quite some time now, but now I'm allowed to show you uh, all the new features in the Procreate 5 uh, private beta. There's some great new features and I uh, really would like to share them. So let's get into Procreate 5 private beta. In this video, I'm going over all the new features in Procreate. This is the Procreate private beta. And some things I will show may not end up in Procreate 5 because they're still testing it. And if it doesn't work and if the app isn't stable, they won't use it. The first new feature I'm very excited about is the color palette. And it looks like the same color palette, but they have added a new tab, which is called Harmony. And it says coming soon because this is still the, the Procreate 5 private beta. Maybe it will come to Procreate 5, I'm not sure, but I think uh, you can make color schemes with Harmony. You have uh, different kind of uh, color schemes. I already made a video about it and uh, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. So that's great, but they also added a new feature is that you can detach the color palette and just swipe it around or you know put it anywhere on your canvas and that's great of course when you you know want to draw and want to pick colors quick you just have your colors close to you when you want to go back just press on the x in the upper right corner and then it will pop back to the normal um, color palette They've also added a, a new feature when you go to the Actions tab and look at Prefs. They now have Animation Assist and I will show you uh, the Animation Assist. It's great for doing animations and you now have onion skinning. So you can use your iPad or Procreate as a light table to do 2D animations. For this other new feature, it's the clone tool. I'm just gonna open up a painting I did. And you have to go to the adjustments uh, menu and there you find clone. So now you have a clone brush and here you can adjust the size of your clone brush and the strength of your clone brush. So when you place it on an image, you can then clone it in another place. And this is great, you know, if you have some structures you want to clone or, you know, do some other stuff with it as well. This is a great new feature, only you have to do it in one go, otherwise it will over draw the clone. I'm going to the brush menu because that is one of the biggest updates. You can now import ABR brushes. I already uh, imported uh, this set of ABR brushes and they have changed the entire interface of the, the brush engine. So ABR brushes. ABR brushes are brushes that are made for Photoshop. You can now import into Procreate 5. And they work pretty good. I'm just gonna select um, one of the brushes and just tap on it again and then the new uh, brush settings panel opens and it's uh, totally changed. You have a drawing pad here on the right side and 
you always had just one color, but now when you press on drawing pad, you can choose other colors to, you know, test out. And, you know, just see what happens. You can also clear the drawing pad. So if you want to, you know, change your brush, you can, you know, change it. And the biggest update uh, is color dynamics. With color dynamics, you can choose two colors in the, the color panel. And here you can choose a secondary color. And there's a stamp color jitter and you can change the hue, the saturation, the lightness, the darkness, secondary colors. And when you slide it up to 50%, it will show 50% of your secondary color you have picked in your color menu. And here you cannot see what's happening. So I'm gonna save this brush, just clear this um, canvas, and I'm gonna choose two different colors. So a little bit of a contrasting color, so yellow, and here I'm going to choose red. or maybe uh, violet. When you now draw with it, it's built up from two colors. So this is great if you want to paint nature, for instance, and I'm just gonna select a different brush, maybe the uh, grunge brush tap on it and I also already made uh, a secondary color for it. You can also um, change the stroke color jitter and the color pressure and I still need to figure out uh, what all of these settings are all about and what you can do with it. You have also color tilt so when you tilt your brush uh, I think the, the color will change. Just gonna clear this up and just gonna select two different colors. Uh, you know, if you want to paint a tree, for instance, you can build it up from two different colors. So uh, a darker green and a lighter green. And when you now paint with it, it's built up from two colors. And you know, you just need to play around with the, the settings. I think this one is for um, just the colors. Just gonna turn these off, save it. And now you can see that, you know, you can create foliage or, you know, paint nature in more natural way. So, uh, the colors blend because you have selected them here and you can also change the colors So this is a great new feature in Procreate 5. I'm going to uh, animation and I made this animation and they now have added animation assist. So when you go to uh, the options and turn on animation assist, you'll see uh, this menu. When you turn it off, you just have, you know, what, uh, you could use in Procreate 4.3, just animate with the layers. But when you turn on animation assist, you now have a timeline and you can view your animation full screen. So this is an animation I made of uh, my character, Horus Hippo. And these are all frames can scroll around and great thing about this uh, 
new feature is that they also added onion skin frames. So you can turn on onion skin and then you can uh, see all the images you've drawn before. So this is a great improvement for the animation and you can also uh, adjust the opacity of your onion skin and you can set it to one shot. You can set it to loop. So now it's looping. You can set it to ping pong so it will go to the end of the frame and then go back. So that's great if you want to have uh, a loop of your animation and which goes uh, back and forth. One shot, you just see it one time. And when you turn on loop, it loops. And this is a walk cycle. So that's great, you know, for showing the loop. Here you can also change the frames per second. So if you want to have your animation a little bit faster, now he's running very fast. Not just set it to 12 frames a second, or you can, you know, make it one frame up until 60 frames a second. So you can play around with these settings. And this would be the normal of 24 frames a second, but I have set it to 12 because this is animated on twos. In uh, other videos, I will just go over um, this feature on and how to animate in Procreate 5. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And if you want me to do more videos about Procreate 5 uh, private beta, please let me know in the comments down below. And I'm also curious which uh, feature you like most in Procreate 5. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.